Hello there, welcome to this learning tutorial. This learning tutorial has been created to help the students at Key Stage 3 who are trying to learn how to program using a software called Python. Our learning questions in this tutorial are What is Python? The second learning question is How can I use Python software to create simple programs? Now, the learning objective in this tutorial are three. The first one is to understand what the term sequencing instruction means. The second learning objective is to know what Python software is and what it's used for. The third learning objective is to learn how to use Python software to create simple programs that display information on screen. We've, we've also got some keywords. The first one is what is sequencing instructions? The third, the next one is Python. What is Python? Print. What do we understand by print? Then syntax. I'll go through these keywords as we cover this tutorial. Now, I'll begin with the first uh, keyword we had here, sequencing instructions. What does the term sequencing instruction mean? Now, sequencing instruction refers to the order in which the instructions in a program are carried out. I'll repeat. Sequencing instructions refers to the order in which instructions in a program are carried out. Now, you need to know that the sequence of instructions in a program is very important for the program to work correctly. Also, the accuracy of the instructions in a program is also very important. I've got an example here that actually can make this explanation much clearer. So, if I actually show you my simple example here. This is an example that can say illustrate sequencing instructions. It's literally flying an egg. When you've got to the kitchen and somebody wants you to make an egg for them, I've got six steps here. I want you to think quickly. What is the correct order of these instructions when frying an egg? For example, number one says put, uh, put pan on hob. Uh, second step, break egg. Third step, get flying pan. Fourth step, put oil in a pan. Uh, the number five step is turn on the hob. And number six, oil egg over the, the, over the pan. So now if you look at these steps, can you figure out the order in which these instructions are going to be carried out? Of course, there must be an order that literally makes the whole process perfect. Now, without wasting time, you can pause this tutorial and figure out this. Or you can even discuss with your neighbor. Otherwise, if you want to move on, go to the next uh, slide. I will actually move on to tell you what actually I thought. By the way, before we go through this, this could not be the only method of actually getting a perfect uh, frying of an egg. So this is what I thought. My number one step is to get the frying pan and then put the frying pan on the hob, then turn on my hob, then put the oil in the pan, or the egg over the pan, then break the egg. Of course, there could be other methods, but the number one thing I wanted you to know here, there were a series of steps I took to get the whole process done properly. So this is what sequencing instruction means. So when programs are being written, there is an order in which steps are done. That's really how perfect programs are done. So we are going to learn how to program. And this concept of sequencing instructions is really very important. The program you're going to be learning is called Python. By the way, it's not Python the snake. We are not talking about Python the snake. We are talking about Python the software. So please don't mistake me saying it's a snake. It's not a snake. So I will actually go on to the next section. Now, what is Python software and what is it used for? Now, Python is a programming language software. Python is used to create programs. Python is used by many companies to create programs that work with their products. For example, there are many powerful programs that are being created by powerful companies. For example, Google. To develop the Google search engine really has been, has been a major issue of showing how Python works. Python has been one of the programs that has been used by Google to really create a wonderful search engine that you always use on the internet. Mobile phone companies like Nokia are using it to create their mobile phone applications. Powerful companies like NASA, who are actually doing a lot of work for satellites in the sky, they are using Python. Computer 
uh, game companies, they are creating lots of mobile phone games, lots of online games to actually do this. Now, you actually need to know, Python is not the only programming language. There are so many programming languages out there. For example, there is C or C++, there is Java, there is Visual Basic, there is Power. There are so many. However, the one we've chosen to learn is called Python. Every program, by the way, has advantages and disadvantages. But the concept they all cover is things are done in a certain order. And in this tutorial, I will briefly show you some examples of how we use Python and how we create Python programs. Now, how does Python display information? This is where that word syntax comes in. Every language, like we speak, has a certain method the way things are presented. When you speak French, there is a way uh, French words are written. When you speak German, there is a way they are written. When you speak English, there is a way it's written. So, every program has a, a method, the way they present their programming codes. That is what we normally call syntax. So, the way Python works is, Python displays information by using a word called print, followed by brackets and speech marks as shown in my screen here. As you consider word print, followed by the red uh, uh, brackets, and in the brackets we've got speech marks. Now inside the speech marks, the information to be displayed goes in those speech marks. Now you know, of course, when you want to print to a printer, you normally go to your com your program and say print, and a paper comes comes out. So really, what happens? Python is not getting paper out. It's actually displaying information on screen. So whenever we want to display something on screen, when we begin using Python, we are going to be using this statement here: print. In bracket, we put speech marks and the message goes in the speech mark. So I will show you an example here. As you can see here, the first part is really the Python GUI. That's the really program that we use to write the programs. So you can see I've written the word here print in bracket and I'll put speech marks. I'll say hello. Well, this is my first Python program. And Below, I've actually shown you a screenshot of the actual section that displays the program that has been created. As you can see, it says, hello, this is my first Python program. The brackets are not being seen. The brackets and the word print and the speech marks, they were actually just helping us to display the program. These extra codes at the top, that's really Python stuff. So at the moment, what you need to know is Python works in a certain way. So I'm now going to show you here how we actually create a Python program. So now I'm now going to pause here a bit and I will show you quickly how we write a Python program. Now when you start up Python, of course your teacher will show you where Python is located on your network. When you start up Python, this screen comes up. The biggest mistake is normally students start straight away writing their programs in here. So please. Can you avoid this mistake? This is not the screen that you use to write your program. We use another screen called Python IDLE GUI and I will show you. You got File New. This is now the screen you will use to create your Python program. I will close it. As soon as you start Python, you will see this screen here. Just know that this is not the screen you will type your Python program. You will have to go to File New, and this is the screen. By the way, you can even close the other one. You don't really need it. Now, we are going to create a simple program here. The program we are going to create is going to display a message, Hello World. This is my first Python program, and I hope I become a good pro at programming. That's what I want to show on screen. And as I said in our first example, we start off by writing the word print. By the way, in small letters. So I'm writing the word print and I'll actually push it down for you so that you can see what I'm doing. Then I will put my open bracket. I'm now going to cheat here. Rather than writing, I'm just going to copy the text to really make this easier for you. I've written my text. Of course, I would have been writing it, but to save time, I've actually just uh, pasted what I've written already. And I'm going to put my 
speech marks those are the first speech marks and at the end I will also put the closing speech marks and I also put the brackets now that is what I've just written that is the program I've written that program I want it to display the message print now I want to do something to save this file before you do anything you must first save your file so I will now go to file uh, save us I'll just save this here randomly I'm going to call it practice you must save this work wherever they've told you for example your teacher will tell you where to save this file so I'm now going to save this now I'm now going to run this program running this program professionally is called execute executing a program means running it so the quickest way is to press F5 you on your keyboard you've got a button called F5 now I'm pressing it and you are going to see something that's happening now this is my program to actually give you a good view I'm now going to separate these two screens here the top one is my program that I wrote now the bottom one you can see my message look hello world this is my first Python program I hope to become good at programming this will improve my ICT levels look can you see the print button the print text has disappeared I don't see any brackets I don't see any speech marks so really this is what Python does I'll need actually to show something can I just say something I want to put another message print I'm going to put my open bracket I'm going to say hi are you listening to me and I'm going to put my closing speech marks and I forgot something at the beginning I want to put my first speech marks and I'll have to close it with a bracket now if I save this work just to update what I've done I'm now going to press F5 to see what's going to happen so I'm now going to be pressing my F5 can you now see what's happening hello world it has now added this extra bit are you listening to me so this is what Python is doing all it's now doing it's displaying things I've put on my screen so please I'm now showing you how Python works now before I go I want to show you some mistakes that people will do if I close if I delete all this and I just make a simple simple sentence here before I go because I'm running out of time I want to make this so simple for you if people make mistakes for example I will save that and I'm now going even to close this screen I will run that for you so I'm going to make sure I'll you click in the program you're writing F5 now I want to show you what's coming on my screen here now I'm going to do a mistake that often people will do this word print I'm going to put capital I mean double T I'm now going to save it I'm now going to run the program and see what's going to come on screen look it has come red every time you do a mistake the Python will show red that means eh, we are doing something wrong so the syntax I was telling you that's the style the style of Python is the word print has to be single T if I wrote capital P I will do it again so save my work so I will now run it can you now see an error so please every time you do a mistake Python will do that so I will correct it now with a small letter P and I will save my work to show you what's going on here so file uh, save I will run my program by pressing F5 and here we are so you can now see it's working so what I want to encourage you please especially in your questions that your teacher will give you can you take screenshots that show both your program and both the 
the X screen that shows your executed running program. So the top one is my Python program, and this is what has gone on when I've run the program. So always take these two screenshots. So please, now you need to stop me. Go and listen to what your teacher is going to tell you, and try out the practice exercises. Remember, practice makes perfect. Otherwise, you can go back at the beginning and listen to the concepts. But at the moment, you've seen what Python does, and I hope to look at your wonderfully created program. Hope you've learned something from this tutorial and good luck and join me in other tutorials, please.